So in this final of five videos on the trust equation, I want to focus on intimacy. And intimacy or authenticity is about whether or not you feel you know someone in terms of what they stand for, their values, and specifically whether they mean what they say. In other words, are they being transparent? One of the ways of establishing that relationship in terms of intimacy or authenticity is to reach out and share with your team members. What are your personal goals in joining this team? What do you want? What are your values? What are you working on in terms of your shortcomings or the obstacles you face? Even if it means asking your junior teams or your subordinates, seek um, input. So recently, um, I caught up with Kylie Ng from 500 Startups and they're an investor in Naluri. And I used that time to get a lot of ideas from him, inputs on how we're going about. And what surprised me in the end was when Kylie sent an email to me saying, hey dude, I really want feedback on how you thought that meeting was useful. Uh, what did I do well? What can I do better? And this is the first time I've ever experienced an investor asking me for feedback on how they perform. And I thought that was amazing how Kylie, even in his position, was constantly asking feedback at every interaction that he had, which showed that he really wanted to keep growing and improving and focusing on the quality of these interactions. And I think that's a great example of establishing how we can set intimacy or authenticity by being open in a way vulnerable and transparent in terms of what we want. And therefore, our actions ultimately will judge us in terms of whether or not we do what we mean and what we say. So next time around, uh, following up from these trust equations, I want to talk about how do we give and receive feedback, especially sometimes if it's criticism, because the way of breaking down a lot of these barriers is about approaching uh, the other party and connecting to it, understand where is it that these uh, trust elements broke down.